Mike from BlindsOnline.com here to show you how to install the skylight shade. You've measured for your shade, you've received your brand new shade, now it's time to put it up. Um, the first thing you want to make sure that you have the proper tools ready. Uh, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, um, a screw gun if you have one handy, or of course you can always do it the old-fashioned way, uh, by hand, and uh, a pencil just for marking where certain things are going to go. Check that all your parts have come uh, with the parts list that should be included with the shade. And once you see that you have everything together, um, the first thing we're, we'll start with is mounting the side rails. Each shade comes with two side rails. And the first rail will get mounted to the side of the box. And it really depends up on you as far as how deep into the box you'd like to mount. On this particular installation, we're going to mount the shade flush with the ceiling. And the side tracks have the, are pre-drilled so that once you put the track in place, you simply just need to put the screws right through the side track and into the side wall, which may be drywall or in some cases could be into the wood box. It really depends upon your particular application. So once you have your side rail installed, you will go to the next side rail and always install your side rails with the wider portion facing down into the room. You'll notice that there's a smaller lip and a larger size lip. And the larger size lip will always face you down into the room. That's very important so that the shade doesn't fall off the track when you're operating the shade. Okay, so we have our side rails in place. Next part of the installation will be our top brackets. Okay, these are your brackets that hold the top rail in place. Uh, depending upon the width of the skylight shade, you'll either have two or three of these brackets. Okay, the screw, the pointy side of this bracket, will face down into the room, and the Phillips head screw will face up toward the sky. All right, you'll put this bracket in place about half inch from the ceiling, if you're doing a ceiling mount. And all of the exact specifications on where to mount these brackets are included in the instructions, so each installation may vary slightly. But one screw through the center of the bracket will secure the bracket in place. Once the brackets are in place, the next thing that goes up will be the shade. So the shade should be ready to go, unpacked, and we have your bottom rail, which is the portion that's floating here on its own, and the very top rail, and the center rail, which is your floating rail, which is going to open and close the shade. So the brackets we just installed are to mount the top rail. Now very carefully insert the sides of the shades into the side tracks. And you will have to angle the shade in order to get it in. Okay? And do not apply too much pressure when you do this where you could crack the guides on each end. So once the shade is installed in the side tracks, push the shade up toward the mounting brackets. Okay, and snap your top rail in place into the brackets. Uh, even the shade top rail, even it out so that you have an equal amount of space on the left and right. And once you have that, you can secure the top rail by tightening up on those little Phillips head screws. Once your top rail is in place, you just need to secure the top rail by tightening the Phillips head screw on the back portion of the bracket. That will secure the top rail in place. Mm -hmm. 
Once you've secured the top rail, the next step will be to secure the bottom rail. That's the rail that's sort of dangling right now in the middle of nowhere. Okay? So we'll grab hold of the bottom rail and we're going to place it at the very bottom and base of the skylight itself. Once you have it in place, make sure it's evened out. It has an equal amount of space from left to right. These will, this rail will get screwed directly into the frame of the skylight. Take one of your screws into the pre-drilled holes and tighten down the bottom rail. Once the bottom rail is secure, we'll be able to test the functionality of the shade by grabbing the handle and moving the shade up and down. There are two very important adjustments. One is the tension adjustment of the shade and the other is the equalizer whether or not your shade is going down straight. The tension adjuster is the spring that you see right here in the bottom rail. Okay. To increase the tension on the shade Expand the, the spring and retie the knot in place. That will increase tension. To reduce tension on the skylight, remove the knot and retract the spring until the tension is acceptable. If the skylight shade is not going up straight, there is an equalizer. That's on the far left. It's a Phillips head screw that locks the cord in place based upon the placement of the floating rail. The floating rail is adjustable one way or the other once that screw is loosened. So what you need to do is to even out your rail so that it's operating perfectly straight and tighten down on that screw. Once you have your rail equalized and your tension set, test the shade Make sure it operates smoothly. And your very last step will be to place the filler strip in the bottom rail to hide all of the componentry, all of your screws, the springs, all that stuff you don't want to see. That's what this strip is for. This strip gets placed inside the bottom rail to conceal all of the components. Once your filler strip has been inserted into the bottom rail, you're finished. So enjoy your skylight shade, and many years to come, you'll have a beautiful shade up in your, up in your skylight.